There's never been much traffic on the road to Napierdor, but it should have been busier today. A couple of vehicles pulled up to Burma's giant new parliament, but Aung San Suu Kyi and 42 other newly elected MPs had missed the bus, deliberately. This the moment when the government's most vociferous critics were supposed to pledge to work within the system. But that pledge has caused all sorts of problems. Burmese military officers had no problem today promising to safeguard the constitution. Maybe that's because it guarantees them 25% of the seats here. But Ms. Suu Kyi's National League of Democracy does have a problem. It won't promise to safeguard a constitution it wants to scrap. So for some, this historic occasion turned into something else entirely. There's nobody here from the NLD, and it really makes me feel really sad. But the head of the governing party, which is backed by the military, said they won't change the oath. It's not the right time to change it, and anyway, we've already taken the oath. The NLD leader, seen here last week amongst a friendlier crowd. Ms. Suu Kyi says she's not boycotting Parliament, just postponing her appearance. But she is taking a risk. Some may see her objection as a quibble, a needless fight, when the country faces massive economic and social problems. And at the National League of Democracy's modest headquarters in Rangoon today, the party's chief spokesman was playing down the matter. What we can say is that this is not a problem. I believe we can solve it soon. But this dispute could derail the reform process. Some of the party's newly elected members, here trying on their parliamentary headgear, were taking a harder line. We've told the government what we want and we'll go to parliament if we get it. All this on the day that EU foreign ministers agreed to drop most of the sanctions placed on the government a reward for recent changes with a caveat attached. Uh, There is a dispute today about uh, swearing in of opposition members to the parliament, so I think all this illustrates why it would be right to suspend, not to lift entirely the sanctions. They can be reimposed then uh, if Burma turns in the wrong direction. The chairs may remain empty for some time. This argument about an oath is also a battle of wills between two determined opponents.